Hello Aries and welcome to your love reading. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> there was noise in the house and so I had to stop. So, thank you so much for, wait. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate all the likes, subscribes, and the views. I've really been, it's wonderful. Thank you. So we're going to start with an angel answer oracle card for you, Aries. This card will either answer your question at the end of the reading, or it'll be a part of the reading. Okay. Romance angel oracle card for Aries. Romance angel oracle card. Wow, there was like almost, there were some false starts there. Did you see that? Angel answer oracle cards. No, sorry, romance angel. So confused, sorry. What did you get? Oh, unrequited, somebody else got unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Well, I have to look to see and I'll note it, I'll put it, I'll uh, maybe I'll pin it in the bottom in the comments so you'll know who else got it. So some cards for Aries for love. Keep in mind that unrequited love, it means it's not reciprocal, but just like I told the other sign, that when you have unrequited love, more often than not, it's it, it's that whole theory, what do they say? When God closes a door, he opens a window. Whoops. Wow, I said that and cards are flying out, huh, Aries? Cards for Aries. Anything else? And I've been reminding people, I use uh, three different tarot decks because, and I think I figured out why. I believe that uh, those who help me know that I tend to be on the more literal side. So I need to see. And so seeing the cards, it helps me. <gasps> Eight. Oh, this is beautiful, Aries. You really couldn't get, for unrequited love, this is, this is a great reading so far. You got the Eight of Cups. This is walking away from something. And this says, you know, you you filled up all these cups, you've gotten all you can from it, but it's time to move on. So to me, this says, you're aware of this. Yes, you still have feelings, but if you've had enough time to fill up eight cups, of course you have feelings, but you're walking away. And that's not a bad thing, because then you got the six of swords. You're moving on to something better. Let's hear more for Aries. I'm kind of excited because I have my my uh, Venus is in Aries. So this is, I could call this my love reading too. I like it. Let's see here. Aries love. I always used to joke that having uh, Aries in Venus makes me a little more combative. But it's a funny thing when your Aries and your Venus is in Aries, excuse me. It's uh, like I can meet someone and in two seconds tell you it's either yes or no. And there is absolutely no in between for me. Yeah. Anything else for Aries in this deck for Aries to see? Yeah, I got the no. The world. I love it. And look at this. You have Aries. That's you. Oh, wait. No, that's the bull. That's Taurus. I'm so sorry. <gasps> Didn't that look like a goat at first? It did to me, but it's actually not. So you could be involved with a Taurus or a lion. And actually, because this is the World Cup, I'm going to say you could be moving towards a Taurus or a uh, Leo. And see, this world card, she's holding the world. She's coming out of this portal, and it's like she's just happy and yada da. -dee -da. The world is a wonderful place. It's like coming out like a whole new you. And I think after Quieted Love, Aries, you could use that. It's like, you know what? I'm done. I'm walking away. I'm moving on. I'm taking care of me. And I'm having fun while doing it. So, Aries, what else does Aries need to know for their love reading? Oh, well, we're going to stop there. That's an awful, uh, that's an awful lot of cards. Oh, here we go. So the first card that came, Eight of Cups again. Look at that. Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups. So you are definitely walking away from someone. 
So Aries, this to me says, you're walking away. You're moving, moving on to calmer waters. It's great. You're coming out to the world a different person. It's like you're just walking away. You're saying, oh, I'm going to be me. Page of Rots. Passionate new beginning. Yeah, he's hollering out. Hey, this is me. I'm a coming. Getting attention. The star could be dealing with an Aquarius. <gasps> new offer. Page of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor once again. We have the Leo and the Taurus here. Ace of Cups. Emotions overflowing. Abundance. This is everything you could ever want in love. And the Page of Cups. It's an offer. You don't actually expect it either. Look at his look. He's like, whoa, there's a fish in my cup. Sorry, I've been around children a lot lately. And all I could think of is, there's a snake in my boot. <laughs> Sorry. No snakes. Fishes, love offers are all good. No snakes, no boots. Well, boots are good, just not with snakes in them. So, Aries, this is incredible. Look at your reading. Unrequited love. Remember I said, closes the door, opens a window? I'd say he opened a whole bunch of windows. <laughs> so, you start with unrequited love. You walked away. You know, you just are like, you know, I've put in enough effort. It's not happening, so I'm walking away. You're saying, you know what? I need some calmer shores. Maybe this unrequited love was a little bit too uh, argumentative, a little too much, just not enough. Just, just didn't make you happy. So you went back and you decided to say, you know what? I'm going to be me. I'm going to walk away from this. I'm going to be we, me. <laughs> and you introduce yourself to the world as you, not as part of a couple. Once again, the reminder, you walked away. This is this to me is a very strong card because it says you are in control. You're announcing to the world, hey, I'm here. You're getting attention. The star where you're dealing with an Aquarius. There's an offer. Things are turning in your favor. The wheel of fortune. And now we've had mentioned the Taurus, Taurus and Leo twice in your reading, Aries. Cup of love, Ace of Cups. This is the offer. This is the, the offer. Page of Cups. I mean, who cares about the unrequited love? You got a heck of a future coming ahead of you. It's almost like you're being rewarded for knowing when it's not going to work. You know, never stay. I mean, if it's not working for you, you got to take care of you. Life is short. So, Aries, what's your card? A year from now. So, this could say that a year from now is when you have this. When you get this perfect Ace of Cups, this this is your cup of, this is everything you could ask for in love. A year from now, it says, could it be? Maybe. Could also be whatever you asked. So I don't know what that is. But I think it's so funny because I'm noticing the world card here. And the Wheel of Fortune. And you did have the world card here. So I don't know. You'll have to let me know, Aries. Are you currently walking away or were you debating on walking away? So I just want you to know that when it comes to these readings, you have free will. I can tell you anything. It doesn't mean it's set in stone. If the relationship that's not working is something you feel is a viable option and you want to work on it, by all means, work on it. You have to believe in what you believe. Have faith in what you believe and trust your gut. You know, if your gut says this is the one and, uh, you know, there's extenuating circumstances, I don't know these things. So just trust yourself, okay? And thank you so much for being here, Aries. I wish you the best. And I, and I look forward to uh, hearing about these lovely uh, Ace of Cups and 
wonderful things that are happening. So thank you so much. Take care. Be safe. Good luck. Bye, Aries.